G'day, Matthew Cutler Ross here from Homestyle Green. I want to talk briefly about concrete floor slabs. How much heat do you think gets lost out of the side of a concrete floor? Would you believe it's as much as 80% of heat loss goes through the side, not through the bottom? Uh, now that's quite a staggering statistic when you consider just how much space there is around the outside and really compared with the amount that's underneath it's not that much but here's why the ground underneath the house and this is this is a cross section of a, a typical floor slab we've got our our floor here this is a be our carpet or whatever our floor covering is and our wall we'll assume that's kind of nicely insulated don't know if it is or not um, and we do have some uh, polystyrene along the bottom of here that's fairly common uh, either in big pods or in, or in large sheets to put a little bit of insulation. In most cases we think we're doing pretty well because we're, hey, we're insulating the floor slab so that must be good, right? Well, here's the thing. The ground down here stays at a relatively constant temperature. And that's the, uh, true for the ground everywhere. But certainly when you stick a house on top of it, it's going to stay pretty well constant throughout the year because uh, it's got a house on top. But the air right next to the house, that's where it's going to get really, really cold. So, cold morning uh, here in New Zealand, let's go, say, Christchurch, it could be minus two or three degrees out here. Um, and we're going to want our house to be 18, 20, maybe higher. So we've got quite a significant temperature gradient here, and that's just a recipe for getting heat loss. So heat is going to train to move from the warm place to the cold place and it's going to shoot straight through this nice thermal bridge here straight out to the side of that concrete slab. So how do we fix this? Well there are two main ways that we can do this. One is to put a little bit of insulation down the outside and generally continue that down underneath the ground and that's usually something like polystyrene kind of similar to what goes under here um, usually not quite as thick what we do have to do then is protect that polystyrene because it's not very durable so we might need to put a little uh, a board down here or render it with some plaster to protect that. That's obviously the extra labour for someone on site. Uh, it's a little bit um, of an unknown quantity for a lot of builders that haven't necessarily done that before. So that's a very good option but you may need to explain that or work through that with your builder. One of the issues they may have is how to fix the uh, whatever the cladding is on the outside because there may be a positive detail here and they may be a little bit concerned about that with water getting up into that cladding. But that's all, um, there are ways to overcome that, it's fine. The other way that uh, can be considered is to put a thermal break in here. And that can be a piece of timber or again it can be a piece of polystyrene. The tricky bit there is that that has to be inlaid into that foundation wall before the concrete, get, uh, before the concrete slab gets poured. And that's a little bit tricky because they have to drill um, ties in and somehow get reinforcing steel in the middle of that uh, thermal break, particularly now with concerns around earthquake safety um, and, and seismic activity of that foundation. So there are a couple of solutions and there are ways that Brands has said these are acceptable solutions for ensuring that we insulate the sides of that slab. And insulating the sides of the slab is a highly recommended thing to do because it does significantly improve the overall performance of that floor slab. But I had a chat to a guy this week um, from Max Raft and he, they've got another great system which is in a, a much more um, comprehensive way of creating a whole slab which is insulated all the way through and completely insulated from the ground and from the air on the outside. So check it out. Uh, it's on the podcast at homestylegreen.com. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you've got any questions about that or any other episode, please do get in touch with me at comments at homestylegreen.com. Thanks very much. I'm Matthew Cutler-Welsh and tune in again next week.